foxes um it's me here slick and frost how's your day let me know down in the comments below um i'm recording this literally last minute before i have to leave my house um because i need to post a video today so i'm just gonna read this book and the, i don't have the cd of the from this anymore i don't have the voice of stanley anymore rip but yeah i'm gonna read this hopefully it'll be quick i've read this book once but yeah let's go it was a perfect December night, and New York City was blanketed in snow. Shoppers hurried to buy last-minute gifts, and people rushed home to spend the holidays with their family and friends. And the superhero team known as the Avengers was no exception. They'd all been fighting separate battles and were ready to settle down to a long winter's holiday. Inside the Avengers mansion, Ant-Man warmed his tiny hands by the flickering candle, while the Wasp placed some festive decorations around the room. Iron Man and Thor toasted each other with cups of warm apple cider. Captain America and Falcon gathered the gifts they had collected for children in need. Black Widow and Hawkeye lit up the fireplace. Wherefore's Hulk? Thor asked concern, who made him a goblet of hot cocoa to enjoy. People who don't know the Hulk thought he was a monster just because he was big and green. Even though he was a hero, people feared him because of how he looked. He's probably on the run again, Iron Man said sadly. We'll just have to celebrate without him. I guess we will, Wasp sighed, but the holidays just aren't the same without the whole team here, everyone agreed. Well, what are we waiting for, Ant Man shouted, trying to lighten the mood. Let's exchange some gifts. These are for me, Wasp said. Here, Clint, this is for you, she smiled proudly as she handed Hawkeye a fashionably ramped, wrapped gift. Thanks, Janet, Hawkeye said to Wasp. Oh, wow, it's a new quiver pack. Yep, that old purple one clashed with terribly with your costume. Try it on, let's see how it looks. Uh, why don't we open more gifts first, Hawkeye said. Quickly pushing aside the quiver pack, Wasp frowned. Um, okay. Okay, Thor, this one's for you. And Cap, this is yours, Janet said. Cap and Thor eagerly opened their gift, but their joy quickly disappeared. Oh, wings! Thou shouldn't have, Thor said with, ex with fake excitement. Wasp smiled. They're for your helmet. Those old ones were way too big and made your head look small. And Cap, that new bag is for you to carry around your shield. That old round shoulder sack is so last week. Why don't we just keep going? We're sort of on a roll here, Iron Man said. Lost side and continued. Okay, Tony, this is yours. Natasha, here, this one's for you, and here's yours, Sam. She was clearly losing interest in the gift giving. Oh, a new buckle for my belt. Er, thanks, said Black Widow. It's sequined, Wasp said with enthusiasm. A new falconer's glove, Falcon said. It's sequined too, Wasp explained. And I got some, um, what exactly are these? Holding up a handful of colored disc discs. The colored plates so you can coordinate your repulsor discs with your mood. Wasp paused and looked at her teammates. You all hate your gifts, don't you? She asked sadly. No, no, that's not it at all, Captain America said. Sorry if you feel hurt, but there's something we have to tell you. The truth is, I was called up to Boston to battle the Kree when my shield became wedged in their spaceship. I couldn't get it out in time and they blasted off into the sky, Cap explained, but I love the new bag, really, I just don't have a shield anymore, he said sadly. And mine, mighty helmet, was swept away whilst I battled Loki this morning, Thor confessed. That's why I was saddened when I received thy gift of wings. And my bag that was full of arrows was swiped by a squirrel pretending to be Santa outside Rockefeller Center, Hawkeye admitted. My belt was snagged on some barbed wire while I sneaked out of Hydra Base, Black Widow said. Falcon stepped forward while I was battling a rogue sentinel, sentinel in Central Park. Another bo bird caught... Red Wing's eye, and I haven't seen him since. 
I didn't lose anything Iron Man said with the shrug. I just think your gift is a little weird. Wasp brightened a little. So you really don't hate them? Well, except for Tony, she said, sneering lightheartedly at Iron Man. If my helmet were here right now, I would proudly, proudly affix these wings to its flanks, Thor said, placing a reassuring hand on Wasp's shoulder. Wasp smiled. Thanks, Thor. Just then, the mansion began to rattle and shake. We're under attack, Iron Man cried. Don't super villains have the, re the night off? I mean, it is the holidays. You will never rest. Never rest. And neither do the Avengers, Captain America said proudly, clenching his fists and preparing for battle. But as the threat crashed through the wall, spraying bricks, bricks everywhere, the Avengers realized it wasn't a villain at all. Happy holidays from Hulk. Er. <laughs> the Green Goliath had made it home for the festive winter's night. After all, he and he brought presents. Hulk had a gift idea, but Hulk find things he thinks Avengers will like. The Hulk opened the bit, opened the huge bag he was carrying, and presented his gifts. Cap shield, Thor's helmet, Black Widow's belt, Hawkeye's quiver, pack, and more. Hulk, how did you- the wasp asked. Let's just say Hulk very busy smashing all day long. Now Hulk relax and enjoy holiday with friends. And that's just- that's just what they all did. Happy holidays from Avengers. The end, my dudes. I know this wasn't like a normal video, but I had to record it really quickly. Oh my god. I had to record it really quickly, and I just didn't have time to do anything on Friday. So, thank you guys for watching. Have a good day. Bye.